got Ryan, Gabrielle, and the master. Cool. There's Andy, our resident blue man. And then something profound just suddenly dawned upon me. This fish was only just slightly less blue than Andy. Well, we're looking for octopus. There's five grown uh, people. We can't find sh That's one cool light that Ryan has in his hand. That's one pretty light. So, see anything good, Andy? Uh, there was the long pointy fish. Yeah, that was that was the highlight. Are you uh, adding to the high tide, are you, James? <laughs> yeah, no problem. Tough stuff. <laughs> the blue light coming from Andy's body was everywhere, and it was a good thing too because it attracted the porcupine fish. Andy asked me if he could touch the fish. Of course, I said. I mean, who am I to tell people they can't do something? Poisonous killer. You go right ahead, Andy. The bonding of the fish with Andy was the same as between me and Murray the mud crab. Oh, so long ago. Exactly like man and dog people. Well, all except for the fetching. Or maybe it was just the blue light of Andy's legs. That's too much touching now, Andy. Stop it. Murray the mud crab and I never went that far. Holding hands would have been a hazard, people. All right, uh, James has got to upload a video and I've got to make some phone calls, so I know, I have to make some phone calls. I'm trying to get some interesting crew people. Um, so, because he's the faster boat, I'm taking off early and he'll catch us up, no doubt. So, heading towards almost Nagana, get some internet and um, do the business. There's James. Uh, but he's got a bigger motor than mine. And the wind has dropped to nothing. It was seven knots, which would have been fine for me. Would have brought the apparent up to nine, and then I would have been doing five. But now it's pretty well zero. Look at that. It's going glassy. Anyway, we don't have too far to go. Only a couple of more miles. But I think James is going to win. But he can't theoretically win because he doesn't know the spot to go to. So he has to wait for me to go in. <laughs> Looks like I might be winning, people. Well, when you're a champion, you're always a champ. Yeah, right. Look at this. Should be out in the water. Well, I was out in the water for a few hours, but... This is a six to eight hour day, people in the water. Hopefully it'll hang around like this tomorrow, the next day. Update on the race. James is behind that island. I don't know if he was trying to do a shifty, but it looked like he was coming in the reef and then doing his own shortcut. So we'll, we'll suss that out when we see him. I'm gonna go up here and try and get in this reef. I've never done it. Uh, I've got the cha the bear house charts. I've never done it this way before. But look at the day. I mean, it's sun's high, bloody magnificent. So I might, might as well give it a crack, people. It's just it's a bit um, convoluted. That's all. He's just to the left of that island. He's right in the distance. Not this boat right there, but in the distance. He's probably got half a mile on us. So he he if he uh, goes in the right cut in the reef, he's going to beat us by. Well, quite a bit. But I haven't given up yet, people. You don't give up ever. Even if you've lost your queen, two rooks, two knights, two bishops, and you got one pawn and one king, you never ever, well, maybe you would give up then. No, you never ever give up. You never give up. Keep on going. Just keep on going, keep on swimming, keep on going. But if you have lost everything and you're just a king, 
Well, even then, you can still get a stalemate, a draw. Just never give up, people. That's the motto. He's got another... Um, he's just left that little um, tiny, tiny, tiny island next to that island. He's probably got 150 metres to go. Well, there you go. We lost, people. Mind you, he's got more than well three times the power on his engine and only twice the weight so uh i'm saying that on handicap i would have actually been there and i've won and i'm sitting in a hammock drinking a tequila sunrise i don't even know what that is or a coconut milk for the straw sorry a coconut for the straw yep i reckon i won on handicap now i've got to enter this with the right light the light's sort of in front of me so i'm just gonna I've got to backtrack a bit. I thought I was going to come in another angle, but it's not a good idea. I should have thought of that before. But it's no matter. I only have to go back about 50 metres, and then it should be as clear as mud in a muddy estuary after a big storm and a landslide. Clear as that, people. Should be fine. That's, um, there's the reef edge here, we're going through, it looks all right. Yeah. And Zingaro's up in front, in a hammock, drinking coconut with a straw, probably. The bugger. Oh, he deserves it, he's a good bloke. But don't tell him I said that, he might bludge a couple of pineapples off me. I got extra pineapples. I'm a bit partial to pineapple people. Yep, there's the reef edge. I've speared all of this, so I already know it. Yeah, I know there's a reef there. There's also a reef up there that's unmarked. Um, so we should be good. We just have to take it slowly. And um, with the Polaroids, it's all good. Yeah, you wouldn't want to come in this way at night because it's in, then a hard left, then you've got to follow the reef closely, and then it's another hard, well, another, well, it's then it's a right, and then you've got to go around this sandbank that's just behind me, so you, then you've got to go right again, and now I'm ready to go left, and there is James in Zingara. Yeah, Are you going to get anything? Yeah. Take That's pretty good. Yeah, it is. It's excellent for us. Pedro, yeah. Pedro, Pedro, yeah. I helped these two guys out about two months ago, but it looks like I have more work to do. Ah. No falta el hilo. Ah, Codura. Se dañó. Yeah, yeah. No, okay. Um. Tiene hilo. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. If you want, you can. Um, my Spanish is not good enough, but you can do a deal with this. I can rig up his gun. Usually, I just do it for free. Uh, <laughs> okay. I understand it's, it's $20. Yo entiendo un poco tiempo por mi Okay? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, so these guys. Okay. We'll give him a set of these um, inserts. These are really good because you don't have to keep on re-bridling your um, rubbers. You just put in new rope. We'll give him some spare bridle line too because it doesn't last forever. Oh, baby. Just give him some spare lines. Okay. Um, spares? This is a fucking awesome little gift. Look, he gave him a, a whole bag of spares right there. 
and redid his whole gun. Yeah, but these inserts, these yeah, are kick-ass. Awesome. These with, are kick -ass. with stainless steel inserts. You yeah. guys, you guys are hooked up. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, the list. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Excellent. See. Okay, I'm just trying to pair my controller with James's Mavic. Um, because when lightning struck mine, it blew out either the, the drone or the transmitter. So I'm just going to switch items to see if it works. Um, we've got a few little problems. Uh, I'm just trying to get through it. Still trying to solve the problem. I'm updating the DJI thing on my phone. The controller's upgrading and the drone is just sitting there. This is crazy. This is friggin' crazy. But we might be on the way to pairing this. And then hopefully I can fly. And if I know if it flies, that means it must be. It means it's my drone that's buggered. Um, the barbecue is going good. Uh, oh, it's moving. It was doing something. Oh, sounds good. It yeah. still says it's updating, upgrading. Maybe we're on a winner. Well, the problem with it before is it used to fly. Uh, maybe five to ten meters away and then fly back because it it would lose signal. Oh, we have some more noise. Oh, it says go fly, but update 99%. I'm oh, successful! This is a <laughs> shitty place to build a fire, bro. Why? Because it doesn't work, look. <laughs> Were you in Boy Scouts? I was. What kind of boy scouts were you? We used to burn I down was, forests. I was, they're That's all good. They're going to be nice and smoky. That's going to be good. Doing a bang up job there? <laughs> she doesn't understand bang up job. No, no, Tendi. There's the two lovebirds over there. The most helpful crew ever. <laughs> the most helpful crew. <laughs> Ow! Holes in them, man. What the? F yeah, it's, this is my quality God gear. Show, damn show. it! Show us. Yeah. Yeah, they have holes, and now my finger has a hole. I'm gonna have a scar there. Just remember you. <laughs> You're welcome, James. You're welcome. Damn, that hurt. Anna was a laugh a minute, always smiling and happy. A sheer delight to be around. A little ray of sunshine. Yada yada yada. She was trying to teach us all to dance. I'm trying to look at her feet, but I'm having difficulty, people. I didn't know that we danced similar. <laughs> side to side. There's another Geico caveman right here, people. Wow. Or is it Geico? I don't know. How, if I'm a caveman, how would I know how to pronounce Geico or Geico? I once split up a fight between a box jellyfish and a brown snake, and I got stung by both people. The miracle was that the venom from one was the anti-venom of the other, so I was okay. Hang on, brown snakes have a hemotoxin and box jellyfish have neurotoxic peptides. These aren't opposite at all. He's making Bullshit it up. Artist. Stop pulling my leg. Oh, come on, fellas. I never let facts get in the way of a good story. All the crabs, piscata, and then what was that drink? That was so good, that drink. It's piña. Piña. Papaya. Papaya. A little bit of... And love. Maria. Anna's love. So she's got so much love. It loves like a dance steps. They're addictive people. Anyway, good night. I'm leaving early. That spot's really just for internet. I, I don't like hanging around there. Water's not as clean and well the reef's a bit bare. Uh, Zingaro, James from Zingaro, he's out early. He's out with some gooners. Uh, local gooners spearing there. Um, there's a lot of group around this island and it's just so easy. Uh, I just like a bit of more of a challenge, so I leave these groupers be, so 
he'll probably have, um, he'll come back with a lot of food. I'm gonna get my usual, I'm gonna go for a snapper. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to a nice spot now. Uh, all his crew's waiting for him on board and the local gurners got us all the fruit and veggies, so that's great. There we go, three islands of paradise. Absolute paradise amongst all the other paradises. It's like concentrated, it's the black hole of concentrated goodness of paradise in a densely packed thing that gravity becomes so strong it overpowers and sucks in all the other paradise. That's where we're going, people. That's where, you know, like the love that Marguerite and I share, that black hole of goodness and love that nothing can beat, people. That's where we're going. Oh, actually, no, it did get beaten, didn't it? Well, we're going there nonetheless. Don't you worry now, there is more from Sailing Zingaro in the next episode, all on Sailing Into Freedom! <laughs>